I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll learn about parallelogram. It's a quadrilateral, you know. Here is how we can draw it. So you can pause the video, write the characteristics or the properties of parallelogram. Here are a few. You can see it is a quadrilateral, it has four sides. Now opposite sides of a parallelogram are parallel. So it has two pairs of parallel sides. And you can see there are two acute angles and two obtuse angles. Sum of all four angles in a quadrilateral is always 360 degrees. Think about their lines of symmetry now and rotational symmetry. And let me meanwhile list the properties for you. So first we learn that it has four sides, right? But opposite sides are parallel and equal, right? So it has four sides. Therefore, it is a quadrilateral. Amongst these four sides, we find that the opposite sides are parallel. So that's how it gets its name, parallelogram. And we also say that opposite sides are equal, right? Now let's get back to angles. We know sum of interior angles is how much? 360 degrees, right? Sum of interior angles is 360 degrees. Now do we have right angles here? No, not of course. What we have is two acute angles and two obtuse angles. That is what we have right? Acute is less than 90 degrees and obtuse is more than 90 degrees. Now let's talk about lines of symmetry. How many lines of symmetry do you think a parallelogram has? I'll leave that for you. Draw lines of symmetry and figure it out, right? So there are two lines of symmetry. See your exercise to draw them and find which are these two lines of symmetry, right? Now we'll talk about rotational symmetry. Rotational symmetry is if I rotate it about a point after how much of angle and how many positions are there that we get exactly the same figure. Well, you find that the rotational symmetry for a parallelogram is 2, right? Rotational symmetry is also 2. Correct. Now let's get it back into area. What is area of a parallelogram and how to find area of parallelogram? Well, for area, we should know the base. Let us say this is the base. And then we should know the height of the parallelogram to find the area. Correct. So if we know base and height, we can find the area of parallelogram. Correct. And you get it because, well, do one thing. Cut this triangle and place it here. So when you take it away and add it on this side, what do you get? You get a rectangle. And you know, area of a rectangle is length times width or in this case, base times height. So it is base times height. And for perimeter, you have to add all the sides. So if the other side is A, then you know perimeter is 2 times A plus B. And that is about the parallelogram. Review this, draw the lines of symmetry, and also explore one more thing. That is about the diagonals. So if I draw the diagonals in this case, do they bisect? Do they intersect at 90 degrees? Explore. I hope you find it interesting. Thank you and all the best.